What is going on everyone? Welcome to the first official video on Street Scene AU. In this video we're going to be taking you through how I got my project car and I'll be revealing my project car. So for those who are already followed on Instagram, you guys would already know, but if you're new to this channel then make sure you stick around for the full video. And um, yeah, it's also going to be the beginning of a little series of just me and Dan working on my build and uh, yeah, just slowly progressing through the street scene AU build. So, looking forward to it. It's going to be a long journey ahead, but uh, yeah. So guys, before I get into the video, I do just want to preface that I did forget my microphone the whole time that we were filming, so the audio may sound a bit tinny, I don't know, but um, nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, also, I know that Dan isn't like a part of the street scene team officially but he was just here with me on the day so it was handy to have him and I just felt like a day behind the camera but uh, yeah don't worry I will be in front of the camera for most of the videos coming up so looking forward to it this is the first official street scene AU video and yeah let's just get into it hey guys what's up it's Dan from Bureau Dan. Oh, I forgot my intro. But anyway, today we've got Jaren behind the lens. You. Um, Jaren's also buying a Beamer today. Um, but I'm helping him out with it, so I made him a deal. If he films the videos for me, we'll go and do it all. Uh, we've got 4K here. Um, we've got two E36 coupes that we've found. I found him one for $1,500. Um, but the engine's leaking oil. It's got a lot of kilometers. It's pretty old. Um, but still a really good buy. We're going to put a new engine in it. And then Jaren found one up for four grand. Uh, E46 Coupe. Uh, same engine, but it's been in a front end collision. And we'll put a photo just here of the front end collision. It's just got a little bit of damage in the front. So I think what we're going to do is take the parts off the $1,500 one and put it into the one that's just had the little front end collision. Because uh, there's no chassis damage or anything that we know of. Obviously, we're going to go have a look at it first. But it's got like 140,000 kilometers. But let's get on the road, go buy it. We've got 4K here, uh, and I'm predictions. I would like to say that we can, he had it up for 4K. With my history, I'd like to say we could leave with the car for 2K, 2.5K, which is uh, pretty ridiculous. But, psychology, we're gonna try and pull it off. All right, let's go. Hey guys, so we have picked up the uh, E46, 325 CI. Um, it is absolutely mint. It has broken down on us on the way leaving <laughs> the suits out. We've got a tow truck coming, it's okay. Uh, it's just wigging out because there's no electronics plugged in at the front, but the paint seems to be in really reasonable condition. Um, it's got the LED tail lights already. Uh, it's got the whole M-Tech kit, so if you come around here, it's also got some nice BBS wheels. Uh, already got spaces on them as well. You probably can't see them because they're too black. But even just the seats in this is incredible. Such good condition, fully electric. It's got the whole M spec interior. The roof line is black as well, as opposed to the usual gray. Same with all of this, like it's all got the M Sport steering wheel. The back seats just look sex spec as. Have a look at those. Yeah, really good buy. It's in really good fucking condition, the whole car is. Um, but now, also got 148,000 genuine kilometers on the engine. There's no tamper dot there, which is absolutely just pretty- Insanely pretty, low. Yeah, pretty insane for this price we paid. I got the dude down to 2,700, uh, so he was happy with that. I don't know if he's happy, but we got him here. Obviously, this is the damage on the bonnet. It's pretty fucked, uh, so we need a new bonnet. Everything's been taken off the front. This will all get fixed, though. It'll all get fixed. And in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to have lots of videos coming out about it all being fixed. So I think there's a little coolant leak. So we're probably just going to, to be safe, do a whole overhaul on the whole car. Um, and yeah, we're going to go pick up the other coupe tomorrow, which um, is going to be cool as well. And then we're just going to start working on swapping everything over. This is actually facelift. But the other coupe I'm getting is, the other coupe Jaren's getting is a pre-facelift. So we're gonna swap everything over and then put the pre-facelift front on because it doesn't obviously have all the dents and shit like that. So, but yeah, overall, 
like fucking hell for like the price that he paid it's insane we could fix this sell it and flip it for 10k with a bit of cleaning up he bought it for 8k uh, three weeks ago so, <laughs> and he crashed it and it wasn't insured so here we are to scoop it up and fix it here we are it was literally only listed on marketplace for three hours when i found it so no, it wasn't we had like to jump out minutes no it was like three hours in case you guys are wondering why we're out here, um, yeah, basically, the plan was to try drive it as far as we could to meet the tow truck at a main road, but uh, we didn't get that lucky, so now we've been waiting in the beautiful Conondale for about an hour or so, just waiting for the tow truck. And we have got the way, trusty daily. We have way longer to wait too. Yep. Like, he's not going to be here anytime soon, so we're going to try and put YouTube on the head unit cold it's gonna get dark gonna but see. it's all right because we got BMW E46 all right so this is the current situation the car is now been towed shout out to the what was your name Chris is an absolute legend he's towing the car now because old mate that we had before decided that he wanted to stay home and eat roast pork <laughs> and, understandably uh, understandably yeah so now we're gonna get towed and that's pretty much fucking where we are <laughs> Lesson learned, don't fucking try and drive a crashed shitbox. Because poor man pays twice. Beam of things. Alright, so we're back in the office now. Um, so basically, I'll give you a past rundown of the past 48 hours. So, the past 48 hours, we have bought a car from the crashed one, which is the $2,700 one, really clean, from Conondale. We broke down on a dirt road. We got stuck in Conondale for about five hours with the people that were living an alternative lifestyle. We didn't get stabbed. We've got the car on a tow truck after calling about five companies and driving like 30 kilometers to get reception. Uh, we got home, I woke up, I went and got the other Beamer for Jaren as well. Uh, so now we've got the two E46 coupes at home. It's now 11.37 at night. Uh, we're both at the office hustling uh, and I just convinced Jaren to come straight to my house tonight because we've got somebody coming to scan the car at 6 a.m. in the morning to find out why it's turning straight off. But other than that, the other beam, the one that I'm getting the engine at, does mint burnouts and it pulls hard, so I've got good faith in the engine. Um, in Mexico, of course. In Mexico, it did burnouts and drifted it. But fuck, man, I don't know where this is going, but it's going to be sick. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We might go home now, and Jared's so excited. So we might just go Woo! home now and put like, new bonnets on it and stuff. I don't know. But otherwise, we're just going to do it before we go to work tomorrow. Welcome to Street Scene, everyone. We work on cars at 12 a.m. in the morning. Woohoo! Good stuff. All right, so this video's been all over the place. Going from the office to Conondale, back to the office, um, all over the place. We've now got the three series at home. Um, we're gonna get all of the front end, front end damage off. Uh, so basically, it's in a real slight collision. Uh, none of the fenders are broken or anything like that, which is actually really good. Uh, so basically what I'm going to try and do is just get the car in straight condition. Um, so we're going to take the panels off the uh, car over there. Uh, we might have to do the headlights, uh, might have to do the fenders because the headlights are facelift versus pre-facelift. So we have to work all that out. But for now, we're going to get, oh shit, we're going to get the bonnet out. We've got to replace a few mechanical things. The car's turning off at the moment as well. Um, so maybe a couple of weeks in the process, but once it starts, it's going to be a beautiful car. But anyway, we're going to get into it. Peace out. Watch the video, grab some popcorn, buy some venture clothing, and let's get into it. <laughs> Alright, so we're about to get the bonnet off. I've got uh, the two bolts there, 
two bottom bolts loose and then the top ones are loose as well so it'll just slide out. I've got to take off the earth cable from that side. Ask me how I know to take off the earth cable. Um, and then yeah, the whole bonnet will just lift up and forward. So Jaren, hold this, this here for me. Alright cool, so the car now has no bonnet, which just makes things a little bit easier for us. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go over to the shed now and take off the same parts again, so that we're able to put them back on this one and then we're going to get the whole front end off as well. Alright, so what we're doing now is we're going to be, like I said before, just taking off the whole front end. Uh, I think the best way to go about this is um, taking out the headlights to begin with, uh, taking off the front bumper, taking off the crash supports, taking off the uh, two front, I uh, forget what you call them, um, and then taking off the radiator support. But we've got to start by taking out the air duct and the headlights and these little trim pieces there. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to get into it and yeah, it's probably going to take us a few hours, but that's okay. So guys, that was the first video on this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you stuck around to the end of the video. Obviously, if you're watching this, you have stuck around, so thank you for that. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description to Dan's channel, so you guys can check that out. Um, his channel's all about working on cars as well, and European cars specifically, so yeah, really looking forward to what's coming up with this build. Um, it's going to be a slow progression, so yeah, as you guys have just seen in this video, pretty much all we got to do was take the hood off, take some headlights out, and um, before we can move any further, we really got to get a code scanner so we can figure out exactly what parts to order. But uh, yeah, once we do that, I think the goal is to have the car up by the end of September, so that should be awesome. And then, you know, I'd be planning on hosting maybe some meets some uh, cruises, some, you know, little events like cars and coffee and stuff. So, yeah, just really looking forward to it. So uh, make sure you guys stick around, stay tuned. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well so you don't miss anything. And, uh, oh yeah, also, clothing should be coming out uh, within the next month or two. My goal, ideally, would be by my birthday or by the end of September, whichever one, I don't really mind. But uh, yeah, can't wait to bring that stuff out to you guys as well. So, with all that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.